Viper is a vehicle innovative powertrain experimental research facility built at the Army Corporate Laboratory of ARL at APG in Maryland that helps develop transformational knowledge to advance next generation rotorcraft transmissions. A rotorcraft vehicle would be anything that's powered with a rotor, similar to a helicopter, a tilt rotor like the V-22, it could be a UAV. One of the main benefits that's going to come from having Viper is going to be the ability to exercise novel transmissions, new concepts that are much lighter, that may have multi-speed capability, and it's going to allow us to explore different platform configurations, different types of transmissions. Within ARL, we have a wide variety of diverse expertise. We have folks who are doing artificial intelligence, and we bring that to bear on the predictive maintenance problem. New technologies like additive manufacturing. We're actually looking at additive manufacturing of some subcomponents for critical and load-bearing aspects of the aircraft that heavily impacts readiness for future aircraft and also affordability. There's a lot of historical data that's been gathered over the past 20 plus years of these rotorcraft in service. We realize there are gaps in that knowledge of how these rotorcraft transmissions perform and we're looking to fill those gaps with the science and understanding we generate here at Viper. The Viper can engage with academia, industry, and across the Army to be able to deliver new technology for the soldier for drivetrain rotorcraft systems. The drivetrain is the heart and soul of the helicopter. It's where the power is delivered from the engines to the actual rotors and the other control surfaces and effectors that allow the aircraft to fly. We can put actual loads on real drivetrain systems without actually flying the aircraft. And that's what makes this facility so unique. We now are able to actually assist in speeding up the development of some of these new technologies because we, we can do it on the ground where it's much safer and where we can observe everything in a highly censored environment and get all sorts of data that wouldn't necessarily be available on an actual flying vehicle. Right now the data that exists comes from systems in the field, oper you know, operational helicopters that land and then we download the data. Th these are all healthy aircraft. These healthy rotorcraft don't provide any signals for us to analyze to be able to pick out what a, a tooth crack in a gear may sound like or what spalling or pitting on a bearing sounds like. So then Viper gives us the chance to listen to what an unhealthy component sounds like, you know, with all the acoustic sensing instruments and accelerometers. And we can train our machine learning algorithms to detect the early signs of when a failure is about to occur. And that's just going to improve Army readiness. The Army needs advanced rotorcraft technology to increase the power density of a transmission, to make it lighter weight, and to be able to enhance endurance and payload for the soldier. The rotorcraft transmission represents a huge fraction of the weight of the vehicle, and every pound of weight that we pull out of the transmission is another pound of payload or sensor or soldier that we can put on the vehicle and improve our maneuverability, extend our reach. This is a big deal for the Army. We're going to advance a lot of science and understanding about transmissions with this facility. We collaborate on a continuous basis with the Aviation and Missile Center, and they're really excited to explore new materials and new configurations on Viper. One other role that the corporate laboratory plays is to engage with industry and academic partners through our business model of Open Campus. It's a way to quickly transition the scientific discovery into the industrial base. And when we do that, we're actually speeding the, the whole process of getting new technology into the hands of the warfighter. Academia may be interested in helping the Army solve an Army problem because it's tangential to their problems. We all have very common threads of wanting to increase power density in a transmission so that we can increase payload and range for the soldier and for any platform that flies across America. A lot of academia aren't able to build up a research facility with this type of magnitude with two 1,000 horsepower inputs and a 2,000 horsepower output to absorb the main mass, 250 horsepower to absorb the tail rotor. There's a lot of power flowing through the transmission. When we can have the facility where we understand the science directly tied to concept exploration, concept development, then we can really start to go after operational impact, going from science to concept to operational capability. We expect that what we're doing here today and the experts that will be using this facility today will give us capability in the future that will actually 
benefit and give transformational capability for the warfighter.